But what was so uncommon about this burning bush is that this bush was burning, yet there was something divine in the midst of this bush. God was in the midst of this bush. And the word encounter was being thrown around a lot, um, which is surprising because it's something that I am hearing more and more in churches, especially churches who are who don't really talk so deeply on the presence of God or the prophetic or visitations or visions or dreams or anything like that. Uh, but yet the word encounter gets thrown around a lot. And I've noticed that at least I will say it this way. My definition of an encounter, at least what I call an encounter, and what and what I would say the Bible would call an encounter, even though the Bible doesn't necessarily specifically go into those details of, of what that is. Um, but what I would call an encounter versus what I've noticed a lot of other pastors call an encounter is very different. And so I really want to define that for you because I, because I want you to be enriched in your prayer life. And I want to talk about why that is very important too. Um, I've noticed that with a, when it comes to a lot of other churches and pastors, um, what they call encounter is, is almost like an epiphany. If I can define that clearly. It's like a spiritual epiphany where you where you just kind of like, oh wow, I need to give my life to Jesus. Or or if other other churches would define an encounter as in like a um like feeling the presence of God, you know, or 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 you know, just having a peace of God over you where you just feel him. And and, and it just kind of transforms your heart. It brings a change into your heart. Um, and that's wonderful. That is beautiful. That is totally of the Lord. We definitely need more of that. I remember I heard this one story of this lady uh, that was preaching at a church. And I was in town. And it was actually in my sister's church. Um, and she said, you know, I had an encounter with God this past weekend. And my eyes popped out. I mean, my I, like I, I was shocked because this was more of like a Baptist kind of church, so I wasn't expecting to hear people to say to say, say something like this. And she says, you know, I had an encounter with God, and she says I was going to grab some ice, and when I go and when I go to the the ice machine, um, I I pull down the ice, and then some of the ice falls and it breaks, and she says that she looks down at the ice, and as it breaks. Uh, she says that God spoke to her and told her, this is you. And so I'm thankful that she had an experience or she had a moment where the, whole, where, the, where the voice of God spoke to her. But I wouldn't call that an encounter. I, I, I would not define that as an encounter. I would define that as maybe a moment in the presence of God. Or I would just honestly, to be honest with you, I would define that simply as hearing the voice of God. But the reason why I wanted to find that is because I don't want you to be robbed of a true biblical encounter. When we look at encounters in the Bible, you look at this, you look at stories like Moses. Moses, Moses goes into goes into the desert, and he goes before a burning bush. Now you have to understand something and a little bit of the context here. Burning bushes was a common thing in in the desert because of the heat. Um, but what was so uncommon about this burning bush is that this bush was burning, yet there was something divine in the midst of this bush. God was in the midst of this bush. And it was so divine that the fire was not burning the leaves. And this intrigued him. And so the reason why Moses was called to this or, or, or was, was drawn towards this bush was because it was it was strange it was because it was weird it was not out of it was not something natural it was something completely supernatural and so 
one thing that you have to understand about encounters is that they are completely supernatural. When the voice of God, and, and, and this is a good way that I can help you define encounters. When the voice of God comes and speaks to you, that is a moment where God comes and invades your world. Okay? But when you encounter the Lord, the Lord pulls you out of your world and takes you into His. Okay? So I, 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 want, I want to say that again so that you have a clear definition. And then I'm going to explain to you why I'm defining this. When, when you have a moment in the presence of God, which we have every day, right? Like I hope we have, we have, we have multiple moments in the presence of God on a daily basis. When you have a moment in the presence of God, that is a moment where God comes into your world. And, and, and it is what the book of Psalms tells us. It's a, a, sm a, a still small voice, right? So we hear a still small voice. We hear, we hear God speak to us. We feel a transformation in our heart. It's still supernatural, but it's not, it's not what I call an encounter. An encounter again is when God takes you out of your, or out of your natural realm and he brings you into his supernatural realm. And so when he brings you out of your supernatural, when he brings you into his realm, into the realm of heaven, it is going to be weird. It is going to challenge you. It is going to completely mess with your mind. In fact, 